Do you dread the idea of going to awkward networking events or even requesting informational interviews? Are you more of an introvert or at least more introverted when it comes down to connecting with total strangers? I totally get it and it's completely normal. It feels awkward because it is awkward. This is why I'm going to suggest you ditch traditional networking and informational interviews for a more practical approach. An approach you can carry out from the comfort of your own home. I want you to comb through the thousands of leads you have in your email account. I don't know about you, but I've had an email account since I think 1997. Most email servers have a record of every single person you've ever communicated with. So grab a glass of wine or beverage of choice, put your most comfy clothes on and go find that favorite spot on your couch and start digging through your email connections to find your future employer. Now, if you are a part of our inner circle, you have all of our scripts that you can just literally plug and play. But if not, what I want you to do is scout out anywhere between 30 to 100 leads, which I guarantee you have in your inbox. Leads that might connect you to your next dream opportunity. Then divide your leads into three groups, hot, warm, and cold, based on how close of an acquaintance they are. Hot being well known and cold, well, they probably have no idea who you are. You then craft an appropriate email, depending on the lead temperature, of course, making sure that you are asking for career advice because people don't like being asked for information or informational interviews, but they love being asked for their advice. If you're asking for their guidance, you are much more likely to get them engaged in a conversation and in support of your cause. I have seen this technique work insanely fast. Take Anna, for example. She got my number from a former client and called me bawling from her car on a Friday afternoon. And she was holding her bags of belongings on her lap. She had just been laid off from her director level role and had no idea what to do next. And it did not help that she was a single mom with a teenager about to enter college. Anna, my team and I jumped into action, helping her craft 10 outreach emails like the ones I'm telling you about. We obviously overhauled her LinkedIn and resume profiles as well so that they can be opportunity magnets. The result, by Monday morning, we'd sent out 10 outreach emails. By Monday evening, eight of them had requested interviews. Within two weeks, she was offered a VP level role in a much, much larger organization. So go get cozy and start crafting your own outreach strategy. And who knows, maybe in two weeks, you'll have landed your dream job as well.